Well, it's been a tumultuous year, um, and the highlight really is the party coming together uh, and setting our differences aside, uh, you know, whether Boris Johnson reflecting and deciding actually it's time to unite behind Rishi Sunak, as did Penny Morden. Of course, bringing stability back to the economy, this government is really working hard to deal with the um, really challenging issue of inflation, which is a challenge for the whole world. You know, Germany, the Netherlands, America, everywhere around the world, it is a challenge because Putin is using energy as a weapon because he's failing so badly in his illegal war. Uh, his, he thinks this is an option for him because if he can um, uh, use energy as this weapon, inflation rises, maybe, just maybe, the resolve of you know, the nations supporting the brave Ukrainians would uh, 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 subside. That's not going to happen. Uh, and my message to Mr. Putin is that we will remain united and resolute. We will deal with the uh, uh, energy costs as we have done with helping households. We now have uh, uh, that support in place so that the average household will not pay uh, much more over three thousand uh, pounds. And of course, three million businesses um, that are perfectly viable that would have gone to the wall, which would have left a you know, real scarring effect on our economy, have been supported as well. And of course, looking forward to 2023, it's making sure that our NHS continues to be supported so people can get those GP appointments, that the ambulance service is there uh, for them if they're loved one or they need it in an emergency, uh, and that you know, there is a decent school for every child anywhere in our country because, you know, as you know, uh, uh, talent is everywhere, it's spread evenly, but opportunity is not. And that is something that I know this Prime Minister is absolutely focused on as well. Very much so. So uh, the Prime Minister, when he was Chancellor, put in place a, a big package of help up until October of this year, which is the £400 uh, for each uh, household um, to help with the energy spike. But it went further. And so the Prime Minister and the current Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, went even further. The package they've put together um, uh, which will help both households and businesses is about 150 billion pounds. It's the equivalent of the whole NHS of help um, in terms of energy costs for families and for businesses because we've got to come together and continue our resolute support of Ukraine but also help our people weather the storm of war on our continent. You know, very few people predicted war on our continent on this scale but the only way to end this war is for Putin to withdraw from the Ukraine. Um, as a party, we need to make sure that we raise the funds that we need uh, to be able to support our volunteers, our council candidates. We've got council elections coming up uh, in May of this year. Um, it's going to be a, a, an important moment for us. It's a rebuilding uh, moment uh, for us. We've got to make sure that um, we understand um, you know, and listen to people's concerns. I just described to you some of those. They want relief in terms of the cost of living. They want to see that there's a future for their child or their grandchild um, uh, to get a great education and that opportunity to get that, you know, that uh, ladder of opportunity, if I can describe it as that, as uh, uh, many of my colleagues, including the great Robert Halfon, constantly reminds us. And of course, making sure that we take the opportunities presented to us, whether it in uh, new technologies in AI, in hydrogen, in renewables, um, because you know, the, the, the two things are connected. What is good for the planet, it's also good for the British economy in terms of new uh, industries, new sectors of the economy. You know my background was in business before entering politics. Uh, so all these things uh, matter and what I hope we can do is demonstrate through the local elections our councillors, our council candidates are on people's side. Uh, they know what matters to them, and that is delivery, those services that they want to see in their local community being delivered to them. Very straightforward. Keir Starmer has nothing to say about people's priorities today. He had nothing to say in, about the economy. He had nothing to say about illegal migration, these gangs that are exploiting people um, uh, on the channel. Uh, he's nothing to say about the 
strikes that are hurting hard-working people uh, in our country, um, Rishi Sunak has a plan for delivery. That is the great difference between the two uh, individuals. Uh, and I can tell you there's only one person I would trust with the economy and delivery to lead our country, and that's Rishi Sunak.